name is Brandon Sahara, and this is Denver Street Soccer. Well, my name is Braxton Wellens. I'm from Denver, Colorado, born and raised. Um, I like playing basketball, and I just got introduced to soccer, and I actually love playing it. Um, 20 years old, I'm about to be 21 next month, and yeah. My name is Sean Smith, so I'm from uh, Roanoke, Virginia. I moved out here in May, and uh, I live in Denver. Well, my name is David Maris. I am 22 years old. I was raised in Denver. Well, I grew up in, well, raised in Denver, grew up in California, came back here. Uh, I have a family, I have a little son, about to be one years old, named Angel. Uh, I'm from Ethiopia. Um, before I lived in like, Ethiopia, I was in Sarawak. And then I'm coming I'm to the USA like, two years ago. Denver's first homeless street soccer team um, of Denver. Uh, we are you know, taking players off the streets that are homeless, getting them involved in soccer, um, provides a team sport experience um, where we can build trust, and um, we're focusing on uh, team development, um, s social skills, and other things. Um, for me, Denver Street Soccer is, it's, it's more of a getaway from from the stress, it, it takes my mind off of all the all the bad things that um that have occurred to me since um I've been at Urban Peak, but there's been a lot of good. So it's like it's just it's more of a relief and it's an opportunity for me to have some fun. Uh, basically, to be yourself. Um, as a kid, I grew up having long hair. You know, a lot of people they they didn't like that. And then you know, I turned I turned it into my own swag. And after a while, you know, the females they like that. So you know, I find out that's what being me. And um, I'm also an artist. And you know, it started off, you know, I couldn't draw anything. And now people that run around say to me, hey Sean, can you draw can you draw me a tattoo or something like this? Can you do this design for me yet? So now, you know, because I stayed me, now I'm a grand artist. <laughs> well, all you gotta say to the B square, just just don't let no just don't no one bring you down. Just keep yourself up. And don't care what people think about you or what they say about you. And top of it all, just ignore it. If people wanna talk stuff, be a better person about it. B square is just being yourself, being your own man, not following the group. Somebody's always gonna call you a lame or worse than that. And being square is just being your own man, following your own path, not following the group. It's easy to go gang banging and thugging. If that's what you wanna do, that's your life. If not, follow your own destiny. Just become who you wanna become. That's what being square is about. Um, just to be successful, but I wanna be successful cooking food and I want I actually wanna open up my own restaurant sometime in the future. Um, I'm, I start college here soon in, in the next month, so to get my college career started, so I can get my my real career, which is entrepreneurial duties. Right now, I'm going to college for uh, human services. I want to be a counselor, or a caseworker, or a basin officer, one of them too. I don't know. I start in fall. Um, I want to go to CCD and get my associates in art, and from there, um, I want to be a teacher in fine arts. You know, selling my artwork or um, being a teacher. Or a sculptor. Yeah, I do cover a little bit. So like... <laughs> oh man, I should be telling you guys the same thing and giving us the consideration. I'm gonna wear this shirt tomorrow. I think we all should wear this shirt to our shirts tomorrow. I like that one. This one's tight. I like it. B Square fans should know that there's many different definitions of homelessness. Every homeless person that has come apart or has come to this organization um, brings a different aspect to, to the plate. Um, we're looking for supporters. We're looking for people to help out, to mentor, um, to take action, um, to help end homelessness here in Denver. Um, there are a lot of different people out here, uh, different varieties of people, and uh, they're very open-minded. So come and take a look and uh, check us out and tell us what you think.